Well, I just got back from the river. Uh, me and my brother were out this morning, got up at like 5.30 in the morning. Um, we did pretty well. I mean, it's still pretty early in the season. The river is still quite low. But uh, I mean, back at the good pup, good boy. Yeah. Do you want to come out fishing? Yeah, you just run in the river, eh? Yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, we got got into a few springs, some coal, so that was good. But now we're gonna be going out. Uh, my buddy Dylan, he's done guiding, so we're gonna head out there, get on his boat, and we got something special for you guys. I hope we're gonna be catching fish because right now I think all the uh, all the rivers, all the fish are like really low in the river right now, so. I'm hoping that if we go down there, right, that kind of near the mouth, down low, we can maybe twitch some jigs for some coal, some springs. So I'm gonna get going on that. Uh, I'm just gonna clean this fish and get all my gear ready to go, and we'll see you guys out there. Okay, a little bit of change of plans today. Um, instead of twitching at the mouth, we're going, we're going bar fishing with this guy. He looks very excited to go. <laughs> there it is. Bar fishing on the Fraser should be fun. We're gonna get the boat all good to go here and we'll see you guys out on the water. Daddy's hooked up! He's hooked up! Dude, that's big! Three, 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 three. Dude, that's a hawk. Oh, boy. Yeah. Woo. Well, you got a spinning ball, 30 to 40 inch leader with your T right here. 14 to 18 maximum on the weight. Three beads. Beads are to keep the fish away from this. So when he goes and bites it, he's getting hook and not that. Otherwise, than that there's really nothing. Right on. Let's get these lines in. Dylan's sending it down. Oh, that's a good cast. <laughs> All right, let's get these other two in and get some action here. Let's go. Well, been here for probably 15 minutes and the rain has come. I think it's gonna pour, so we're gonna get Tarantula. these things on. <laughs> oh. Man, look at that coming. That's crazy. So, can't see a thing out of these things. They're all crinkly, so we're gonna hope these belts work their magic and it goes off. These camera cases. My camera case is yard sale stuff on the ground. Yeah, yeah rain's coming rain down. Starting. Let's hopefully some fish are <laughs> biting. The rain is starting. There we go. Man, it's coming down. Crazy, out of nowhere, zero to a hundred. Uh, that was wild. <laughs> Cody got soaked. He's all pouty pants now. But let's hope the next shot is me reeling in a fish or one of us really going Probably not. <laughs> well, we got the boat up there. Um, a few boats in the bar here, so we got we are boats up here, and then we got one rod down here. So I'm gonna. I'll sit back and relax and watch this rod. Hopefully it goes off. See what happens. Fish on. Cody. I think I got a little one. Yeah, I got a little one. Oh. Sockeye. The sockeye, eh? Yeah. Sockeye. The sockeye. Yeah. That was crazy. It was hitting like this. Literally, when I like, didn't even ring the bell, I just looked up and it was going ding, 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 ding. Huh. That was a big sockeye, though. Yeah, it was. Did you get the bell still? Yeah, I yard sailed the bell. Right here. I'd put a three up. I didn't even, he didn't even do anything. Dylan has some insight on uh, actual proper warm-up. Professional. Oh, say, a professional warm-up. Oh, you get the double leg drop. You get the single leg drop. You get the double leg jump. You might have to really bar run real quick. You've got the stand leg, just in case you broke the leg. Well run into the bar rod. Yeah. And then I've got one more. 
just in case a seagull comes and tries to steal your bird. Okay? <laughs> you look around before the trip, you find a 360 insight of logs, rocks, and kill it with. Right? Fish. So, right now, for an instance, that fish comes. I'm running. <laughs> the bird's right here. Not that sound. And there'll be feathers everywhere. And your fish is fine. <laughs> oh, fish on. Oh, I just sprinted five kilometers down. You want me to grab the <laughs> Oh, man. I'm gonna lose them. Oh, no, it's, it's a coho. Whoa, it's a spring, little one. Hey? Yeah, it's a spring. It's a spring. You gotta get that net. Oh man. This thing is going crazy. Yeah, I keep that in the water. Yeah, I'm gonna get a quick release. Like shot. Can I get you have a phone on you? Okay. Oh, coho. Beauty. Oh, that thing's nice. Off like a rocket. That was awesome. Hey. Yeah. It was just biting like this, eh? I like, I saw it from the boat. I just see me sprint, it was like this. Like and then like, I was, I waited here, it just kept on going like this. Yeah, well you've seen the difference. So I'm like, nah, I'm just gonna jack him, yeah. I sprinted all the way from the boat down. Hey, Cody, your brother just got one. Cole. Pretty good size too. <sighs> we need one here. Come on, baby. Let's go. You got one? Cody's hooked up. He's hooked up. Dude, that's big. Dude, it's taken. It's literally peeling. Big spring. Oh, baby. Woohoo. I don't know, not yet. I'll grab it, I'll grab it. I got the nut, man. Ah! <laughs> I got the nut. Oh. What? He lose it? It's in a snag? No, we have to come out there and get it. What? Is it off? No. Frick. That was a good spring, man. Oh, it's a tough one. I was just uh, relaxing on the ground there, chilling, watching the clouds go by, and I looked up to the right. My rod was completely straight. It was almost like it got knocked up and down. And all of a sudden, it just started going crazy, so I got up. I said it like a shark, pretty much shark fishing. I ran back. It was dead weight. It almost stopped me in my track. And then it went for a big run, and I guess it got into a snag or something. So, that really sucks. And all we can do is just get the rods back out there and hopefully get another one. I don't know, we were here yesterday evening. A little bite, a late bite thing. Oh, and uh, we hooked three, like in a matter of two hours. So, maybe this is the time of the night bite. So, yeah, we'll wait and see what happens. He's got one. Yeah. Woo! Hi. <laughs> Here, Cody. You walk backwards now. Cody, you can walk backwards now. Walk backwards. <laughs> Woo! Good one. Oh man! Oh, I'm so bad. Coho, it looks like. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
this. Oh man, how did that thing make it in? Yes. Oh man, I don't know if I got that, but that was crazy. Perfect hook set. Oh. He jumped on my net. He got in my net and oh. jumped out. That's perfect. I don't know how. <laughs> that was crazy. Man, it sucks. This thing rattled a memory on me. Well, after a bit of that gong show, we land it. Here it is right here. A beauty Chinook right here. Can't get much better than this. Look at the weather out here. It's crazy weather. This is awesome. So much fun. You gotta try it everyone. Bar fishing on the Fraser. It's a blast. Well, putting the last rod in here. Oh, getting that in. Swirling action. Look at that form, ladies and gentlemen. Just look at that form. Oh, whoa! Okay, never mind. Back to the knee. <laughs> Okay, so we're getting that last rod in. Uh, got a nice spring, nothing too massive or anything. Weighed it, it was 9.25 pounds. We finally got the species we were after. Now it's just bigger from now. Uh, I'm happy with the day was gonna end now. We got, we've had a lot of bites, a lot of uh, like rods going off. I run up to it quick, set it, nothing there. Set a couple head shakes off, I didn't get to get on camera. Um, but we're getting fish, it's good times out here. The weather is holding off. It's nice and sunny over there. Miserable over there, but it looks really cool. And as long as the clouds stay over here and this comes, we'll be all good. Hope you guys are enjoying the video and let's hope some more fish come to the bank. Hooked up! Woo! Fish on! Big? Dude, that's a hawk. Oh man, it's going upstream, dude. That's good. This should be good. Dude, that's a good one. <gasps> yeah, boy. In the elements, baby. The elements. Out of my way, out of my way. Oh. Wait, if that boat runs the thing over. What's in this tag? No. Oh, this is big. I'll grab the net. Okay. Nah, that's what happened last time. I was to go grab the net. We lost them. <laughs> Get him out of that snag. That tree's right there. Dude, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Hope our other rod doesn't go off. Oh, that's a nice one. Dude, that's good. This thing's nice. Get in there. Get in there, man. Oh, man. Yeah! Woo! Big dough, man. Big dough. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, baby. That is nice. Oh, man. So it's all about right there. Woo! Oh, yeah. Low key Tina. <laughs> so, Dylan, what do you got to say about that? You know, she's good. <laughs> she's filled with trouble. Man, it's a beauty. Nice fish, man. Okay, let's get photos. Well, it is raining. It is pouring. It is getting very dark. So, we're going to call it a day. And I'll see you guys on the other side. Well, this concludes our uh, bar fishing adventure. Um, I had a great time out here. Uh, it's my first time ever doing it, so uh, I really enjoyed it. Definitely want to be doing it a lot more. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as well. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to do more of this bar fishing stuff or river videos, whatever you want me to do, just let me know. I'm always down to try something new. Um, I like having a challenge, so if I've never done it before, don't hesitate to ask, like, I'd, I'd love to do it. But I'm gonna He's quit the chit chat there. right now because Dylan can't find the He's keys, so I'm gonna help him look for it. No, they're not here. I need a light. We might be low-key screwed. Anyways, catch you guys next time, another episode of Getting Spooled.